I am having a full-on scrunchy situation. Does this... Does this match? Is this the best we can do? Tell me you're a simpleton without telling me you're a simpleton. Hello! Welcome to Laura's World. I'm Laura and I have a bunch more things to go over, a question to answer, and just more things that I haven't opened yet. So my birthday is coming up um, pretty soon, actually. I didn't realize how close we are. Anyway, um, my email inbox is flooded, absolutely flooded with coupons, deals, sales, $5 off, $20 off, this and that. Um, of course, from my favorite places like Sephora, Ulta, Colourpop, Torrid. That's, by the way, like my shirt. I love this. Watermelons. Mm. Um, yeah, 89 cents. Oh yeah. It grew a sibling. This breakout situation, I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore. And of course, because I was stressed out and kind of, I'm, you know, kind of dealing with some things personally. Um, I'm sitting downstairs picking at it and, and all of a sudden I find myself kind of squeezing it and it, I know, gross. <laughs> well, I got a bunch of stuff from Ulta. Some birthday, some coupon, some whatever, but there's some skincare in here, so I think one of these, yeah, I think one of these things is like a zit thing. All right, first I'll put on the fragrance. Now here's the problem. There's no label. I do not remember what this is. There is no name on the little decoration. There's nothing on the bottom to signify what it is. But there is a label that lists the fluid ounces. I don't know, maybe if I put it up to the camera, I can I can read it. Yeah, I can't read that. Well, it's blue. Da ba dee da ba da. So I need a little aromatherapy. I'm I'm calling all of my perfumes and fragrances aromatherapy. Um, I think I said that in a previous did I say that on previous? I don't know. My mind is somewhere else today, I swear to god. But um yeah, so I'm gonna do this one now. Let's put some on my pressure points. Ew, that one in my hand. Eh. That, that's that's fun. Mm. It's kind of clean. Um, I don't, don't, don't want to call it like anti-floral, but I'm horrible. What the? Sorry, I thought I saw uh, the ceiling. It's raining a lot. Um, we're very lucky that we're not in the path of hurricanes, but we get the leftovers from the hurricanes that were down in uh, Cuba, Puerto Rico, and Florida and all that. So it's been raining for days. My head is killing me, but I have my cat ear headband on anyway. Because um, the barometric pressure really does a number on my, my head and my migraines, but it's okay. I'm, I'm okay. I, uh... This may be the most disorganized video I've ever done, and I apologize. If anybody knows what this perfume is, what it's called, where it comes from, I don't know, it's got an oblong crystal type uh, topper to it. Blue, almost like a, a six-sided uh, screwdriver. I don't know the frig I'm talking about. If you know what this is, please let me know. Thank you. I'm not going to take everything out right now. Should I? Nah. This is, um... It was a kit that was on sale. I believe this came from... Nordstrom? Yeah, I think this came from Nordstrom. It's the Amplify Skins Radiance Repair and Reset from Estee Lauder. It's got the Advanced Night Repair... 
some kind of cream, uh, some kind of eye cream, another cream. It's very cream heavy, um, but there's a, what is this thing called? It looks like a serum. It doesn't say what it is, but it looks like a serum. It's in here and it also came with this freebie. Because if you spent X amount of dollars and it says this was $37.50, but that is not what I paid. Um, I definitely paid less than that. Oh, here we go. Okay. So the serum massage massage, massage three to five drops on face over throat AM and PM. Uh, then the next one, I don't know what it is, but you use it after repair serum to help build skin, recover from visible irritation, and boost clarity and radiance. It's a lot of flowery language. Then the pot of cream, this guy. Massage on face over throat at night to deeply nourish skin. Wake up radiant morning after morning. And then the other little pot. Blend three dots under each eye AM and PM to reveal a smoother, more well-rested look and brighten the under eye area. Diminishes the look of lines. I want to see something diminish the look of these lines. I got these bags. I don't have the bags under my eyes. I have the baggy eyelids. And although my skin is extremely dried out right now because I just violently washed it with a resurfacing cleanser from Elemis. Um, things you shouldn't do. I just, I had a minute. I had a minute and I wasn't thinking, so I definitely have to, I gotta put something on my skin. I mean, I did use Elemis, so I might as well use Elemis again, but I don't think that Apricot is gonna go with this blue perfume that I sprayed, but, um, oh well. Okay, so I got a few things from Kinship. Um, if you recall, I have been using the crap out of this Kinship under eye cream, or just eye cream, and I absolutely love it. Um, are my eyes brighter? I don't know, but my eyes, the skin likes it. It feels good, it feels nice, you know? It doesn't like boil up or clump up like some of these things do. So I went ahead and took advantage of a sale that was going on from Ulta and I got four Kinship products. The first is this Probiotic Moisturizing Sunscreen Zinc Oxide Broad Spectrum SPF 32. So it's a little tube. I'm guessing either it's... This isn't a sample. It wasn't a sample. Um, that I'm just kind of guessing a little bit might go a long way. I don't know. But it's now 7.51 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's been dark for hours because of this storm. So, although you... Even though it's cloudy, you should put SPF on. It's like too late in the day anyway. <laughs> Look at this little ass bottle. Have it upside down? Yeah. Little ass bottle. So next what we have with the um, acne stuff I was talking about. This Kinship Pimple Potion, Retinol Salicylic Acid, and ac uh, Salicylic Acid Acne Treatment. I'm sorry, I'm like falling asleep. It's literally been two hours since I started filming. I had to take a break in between the sunscreen and this box of acne treatment pimple stuff. Come on. It's a retinol, not retinol. That's weird. Anyway, I think it has something to do with the way vitamin A is processed. Um, yeah, my husband came home and he's like, we have to finish all the forms 500 page forms for disability because uh, my case manager extended them to tomorrow oops so that just zapped me of all the energy that i had i'm not even going to get into why all right i wanted to do this so let's take a look at this pimple potion big rectangular box 
Small tube. Packaging, packaging. Alright. So, I'm hoping that this, you know, all this stuff that I got, I got a few things from Kinship, just because I was so impressed with the eye cream. Okay. How to apply to affected area, pat into skin until absorbed. So it has a very medicinal smell to it. I mean, it, it's a, like a spot treatment, acne spot treatment. Of course, it's going to have a medicinal smell. It's not super unpleasant. I was just kind of surprised at the smell. So, I mean, we'll see how this goes. This is a nightmare. The third kinship product is these Insta Swipe Lemon Honey AHA pads. Otherwise known as alpha hydroxy acid come on it's not that hard there we go so it's sealed in this little container here i'm gonna go ahead and open this sucker up because i want to see what they look like safety cap okay they are pads indeed and i almost get a lemony honey something from them i always store pads like these like facial scrubber pads upside down in the container like i'll put the lid on and it's gonna go into my little storage area right here like it is why do i do that to ensure that the product stays on the top pad just a little trick. Why not? All right, so it already feels a lot more gentle uh, than the Strivectin. Oh shit, I shouldn't do that. Than the Strivectin pads um, that I use. But I'm uh, not gonna let this fool me because I do feel it working. What I miss? Get over here, get over here. Ah, just one thing I don't like about these little things, sometimes they roll up while you're trying to use them and that's just, that's irritating, but okay. That's semi-refreshing with a, a slight tingle. Acidic tingle. And they said in this little thing, it's a QR code, but it says, this jar is made from recycled plastic. For more information, scan the QR code. That's good. Um, I'm pro-recycling. And the fourth and final kinship product is the Super Mellow Hydrating Gel Cream. Hydrate, nourish, keep it cool. How to. Apply after cleansing or anytime you need a burst of moisture. Has the same seal on it with the QR code that it was made from recycled plastic. Get a little twist, comes right off. So she said. There we are. Okay. Like and then a little safety seal. Ooh. I hate when that happens. The cream, the product is all over the lid. Let me just go ahead and scrape that back in. Okay. I'm gonna get a little off the lid here. And put a little moisture over here. My chin has been acting up. And so has the side of my mouth. The sides of my mouth. You know what? That's funny. It's called a mellow. Uh, mellow because I, I legitimately feel like it smells a little bit like marshmallow. A little bit. Hmm. I'd say it uh, soaks in pretty average. You know, not not 
not too fast, but not too slow. It's getting, it's not super tacky and I just put it on. This stuff, I feel like I'm gonna have to put it back on. I might've accidentally taken some off with that wipe, stupid. Um, yeah, but anyway, that was exciting. Hey. Um, Kinship still gets that thumbs up. And with this purchase, I actually got uh, four goodies from Tarte. So the first thing is this, look at this cute little, cute little blusher called Captivating. And it has a little piece of plastic over the top. But look at the, how the powder is pressed. Look at the detail in that. Isn't that neat? Like a little road in the forest. That's cool. Uh, I'm not sure how it's coming up on, ca con on camera. It's looking a little more orange. But uh, to me, it's, it's a little more red. Then we have in a little sealable pack. Smoothing Tarte High Performance Naturals Face Tape Smoothing Primer. Three-in-one primer helps smooth, blur, and hydrate. Improves the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Mm -hmm. Extends wear of foundation up to 12 hours. Snow mushroom and a hyaluronic acid hydrate and plump appearance. Okay. So... I do kind of enjoy the packaging. It, it, maybe a little wasteful? I don't know. What is going on on my lip? That's weird. Anyway, so here's this itty bitty little Tarte Double Duty Beauty Soothing Primer. And then we also have, now when they say mini sample, they mean like, they're not joking. Tart, smoother, plumper looking lips with maracuja, maracuja or maracuja? Maracuja juicy lip in rose. All in one balm, gloss, color and treatment, cushion comfort complex for smoother, plumper looking lips. 10 plus antioxidant rich fruits nourish what fruits? Click and tint. Apply one swipe as a treatment and layer for coverage. Don't mind if I do, since my lip is being weird. Alright, let's see. Look, <laughs> look at this little thing. Look at this itty bitty little thing. Okay. It's like a little lipstick. How much product is there? You know what? That's really not terrible for a sample. That's actually a pretty good size for a sample. Alright, so let me put a little bit of this on and see what happens. And the last product, which brings me to the question that I've been asked multiple times in private messages, conversations with friends, and also a comment or two on my videos. Mascara. What is my beef with mascara? Why do I have such disdain towards mascara? Well, I'll tell you why. Everybody and their uncle puts out a mascara. Yes, I know, everybody and their uncle puts out skincare, everybody puts out this and that and everything else, but you know what? It, it, it's like mascara is a dime a dozen. I have so many mascaras, I don't even know what to do with them and they're just given away. What does it say about a product if it's just so freely given away like that? Am I misjudging? Maybe. But I gotta say, I've always had negative emotions towards mascara. Probably originating from when I was a child and I poked myself in the eye with a wand when I was going through, I don't know, I guess my, my grandmother's shit. Um, also because I could never get it to go on smooth. Like you watch women doing their makeup or you watch the commercials. Now as a child, I knew commercials were a stretch, but I still felt like if an advertiser was advertising a product, that's how it should work. Foolish, I know. There was no way for me to put on mascara without messing things up, clumps. I could never 
ever put mascara on without getting clumps, without getting it all over my face and my eyelids. And I mean, some of them smelled really bad. And the problem is, like, they come in X size tube or whatever, uh, but you gotta use it up in like six months, sometimes a year. Like, I, I, mascara is one of the quickest expiring products that there is. I, my experience with mascara has been kind of an unsteady, shady mess. Uh, I'm trying to embrace it now. I'm trying. I used it in my last makeup video. Clumpy as it was, I mean, it was the MAC Lash Stack, I think is what I used. And then this one is Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Push up bra for your lashes. Volumizes, lengthens, and curls. 24 hour smudge proof, flake free wear. Plant waxes, rice bran, and other esters condition. Well, that's all fine and well. But the whole volumizes, lengthens, and curls, I have never, never bore witness to this. What is going, what is going on with me right now? What, look at my nose. I'm feeling a bit like Rudolph and I don't know why. I don't know what the heck is going on. I feel like I'm getting stuffy. I don't know, it, it's been raining for days. There's no pollen, there's no weird, I don't have fall allergies. Like, I don't understand what the heck is going on between my eyes trying to close on me, my nose turning all like bulbous and red, and this thing going on. Oh, it is not my time, is it? You know what? It's okay. I'm a human. I'm okay with texture. I'm okay with flaws. I, this, this, is, this is called real. Anyway, so back to this situation. I have never seen a mascara make my lashes longer. I have never seen them go thicker, and I have certainly never seen them curl. So if this product does that, it's a very dark eggplant colored casing here. What is on my finger? Something already came out of that case. Um, let me open it. All right, pretty standard wand. Hello. Come on. Anyway. Uh, oh. See now. I, you know, I'm really bad at describing smells, but there are some smells that are just very distinctive. Like poo. <laughs> some mascaras really smell like poo to me. Maybe that's another reason why I don't like them? I'm not sure. Um. But yeah, that's kind of my non-answer as to what my problem with mascara is. I just feel that it's a product that doesn't deliver on promises. Yeah, if I put mascara on, you can tell that I put mascara on. Because it clumps and makes my lashes darker, but I've never seen anything make them thicker and they certainly don't curl. I have to use an eyelash curler to make them curl and even at that, which I complained about in, in a previous video, I have some eyelashes that are so stubbornly straight out that even the curler doesn't move, move them and they just stick out and they're just... All right, I hope that answers the curiosity, um, at least part way, but we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll try it. Not right now, but eventually. So I'm stopping for a little mid filming break or end filming break, I don't know. Uh, cause not only am I exhausted, my eyes are trying to close and my nose did something weird that it's not doing anymore and my face is inflamed, but my blood sugar is low, so I'm having some chocolate rooms. You guys ever have these things? I was just introduced to these like a year ago. I don't know how I missed them. I hate mushrooms, like fungus mushrooms. Forget it. I hate them. I can't eat them. My, my mom would try to sneak them on pizza and I would just be like, but, but these, cause they're junk food. Mm. All right, I said I wasn't gonna open anything, but I decided to open up the free sample of the ESA loader, louder, loader, advanced night repair. It is a little thing. It is a bitty little thing. Come on. Yeah, whatever. It's hard to focus on because it's so shiny. Itty bitty little. Oh, hello. Itty bitty little thing. Aww. 
kind of cute. It has a kind of medicinal gasoline smell to it. Kind of random, but... Um, well, it's... I'm going to bed as soon as I finish this, so let me try it. Well, that's certainly not for aromatherapy, I'll tell you that much. Is my skin visibly smoother? I sure as hell can't tell. Three cheers for the husband because he went out and got me more almond milk. Yay! Now when it comes to ColourPop, I normally buy directly from their website, but I had a coupon code. And you know me, if I don't pay if I don't have to pay full price, I'm not going to. So I got myself two more of these lip scrubs. I got them from Ulta with a coupon. They're made by Fourth Ray, which is the skincare subsidiary of ColourPop. And right now I have the strawberry lip scrub. Like, I've been using it religiously. It's in my bedroom right next to my bed because I put it on when I wake up. And I put it on when I go to the bed. And sometimes if I'm up at the middle of the night, I'll swipe a little bit on. Because it does have sugar crystals in it, which is what helps to exfoliate the lips. But it is incredibly moisturizing. Um, my only complaint is that you go through it pretty darn quick. Um, I only started using it month, month and a half ago, and I'm going to need to replace it in like a couple of weeks. That's, it goes pretty fast. I mean, there's a, it's not that big when it comes, you know, in terms of size of product, it's not that big, but it's just, it goes pretty fast. And I wanted to try, you know, I'm going to try the coconut one next. Yeah, you could tell it says coconut on it. Anyway. So yeah, I got those, which, I mean, I already know how they work, so that's why I bought more. They go through them quick, but they're so worth it because they are just so moisturizing. And the last thing I'm just going to show, because I can feel myself starting to really fade. I don't know if it's blood sugar or tired or both. Probably both. I got my boxes and packages all mixed up, so um, this I got from Sephora, which came with other things and I don't know where they are, but I know I had gotten a comment about this product about how somebody really loved them. Well, look what I got. I can't pronounce it. Laneige? Lin I'm gonna go with Laneige. Midnight Minis. Um, it's the... I call it lip jelly because it just it kind of sits on your lips like it's an overnight mask um, and I appreciate that it actually comes with a little applicator there again I didn't pay that much um, but it comes with that little applicator which I appreciate because it floating around because the lip mask that I have the one that came in the sample pack <laughs> I have to use my finger so we have I already have the berry um so then we also have gummy bear uh, mango not a big fan of mango vanilla and mint choco okay so i probably just use the mango first to get it out of the way then the vanilla but we'll see. But yeah, this was I saw that this was exciting since I really like how this one performed. Um, I said, why not? And you know what? This stuff that I put on... Do, do, you, do my lips seem fuller? I can't tell. Probably not. Um, but the formula I do like. It's a little bit sticky. But it gives a decent shine. And even through having sips of my beverage and having a snack. My lips are still shiny, so tart. Okay, I'll give you credit, but I don't really feel that they're fuller. If they are and I can't see it, let me know. But yeah, so this, I'm, again, this is another product. I know how it performs and that's why I purchased it or you know, went out of my way to purchase it because it, this, this one came in a sample set. Uh, 
And so it's just the same formula with different flavors or what have you. Okay, okay, okay. Last thing, I promise. Last thing. This I got off of Amazon. I had to order something for my mom. I have my own, I have Prime. And every once in a while my mom would be like, oh, I need such and such or I need some things. Can you order it for me? And I'll be like, yeah, all right. I'll get it off, get it off of Amazon, you know. And I saw in a thing suggested for me, I said, ooh, I gotta have it. And the price tag was like $3 and change because it was on a flash sale. It looks like it retails for $6, but I got it for three and change or something like that. Kitsch scrunchies. But they're, they're like, I know, why do I need more scrunchies? Why? Because these one look metallic and shiny. Look. So we got like brown and tan and pink and pale pink and cream. They're sitting on something that has a medicinal smell, but anyway. Okay, I just wanted to show one more thing that I got. Nice. I got scrunchies. Oh my god, what if it's the perfume that I'm allergic to? I read the ingredient list, it seemed like it was alright. Alright. I'll try a different perfume tomorrow and see if I have the same reaction. My nose is still a little bit. Tip of it is warm. That's really weird. Ah! Rudolph the red nose reindeer. <laughs> Alright, so um, thank you for tuning in, taking the time to hang out with me. Um, feel free to throw me a like and some comments. Also, if you enjoyed your visit, give me a subscribe. Yeah, you don't follow people on YouTube, you subscribe to them. Uh, yep, yeah, I hope, you know, everyone's doing well. Just make sure you take care of yourselves, hydrate, put on your SPF, and have the day that you deserve, which I hope is fabulous. Bye!